This week's color rescue, we're gonna rescue your stark white ceilings. When I first moved into this house, the whole house was taupe from top to bottom and they'd painted all the ceilings like half strength and quarter strength of taupe. So I had no choice, but I had to paint them all. And I thought, well, how boring if they're all just white. I have to pay for them to be painted anyway. So I decided to paint them a color. So I'm gonna walk you through my house and show you everywhere I put up a painted ceiling and they just fill me with joy. It's so much fun. So the reason I chose blue for the ceiling in this room is because blue feels like the sky. And so even if you don't have any blue in the room, you can get away with it. Like I did in my last house, I painted the ceiling a super pale blue, as you can see here, and no one even noticed. Now, I do have a blue love seat here. It may or may not stay because this room isn't finished yet. But in the meantime, it just feels super architectural and interesting. Definitely because I have the tray ceilings, it looks so much more interesting than just painting your ceiling white. So the reason I chose blue again is because the room's gonna be blue and white. But this time I went with a super pale, baby blue shade, which is exactly what you want to do in most cases. The reason why I was able to get away with a more stronger gray down blue downstairs is because I have 11 foot ceilings down there. So I wanted to visually bring it down. So pull out your decks and look for that baby blue color. And if you've got some blue in the room, you can relate it to if it's going to be more green or more purple, but otherwise you could just pick a pretty paint chip at this point and you're going to get a beautiful result on your ceiling. So the reason I painted the ceiling yellow in my dressing room is because Obviously the millwork's gonna be white so that it doesn't clash with all my colorful clothes and bags and shoes. And also because I love yellow, I'm not gonna miss an opportunity to bring color into any space when I can. I love the way it relates to um, my little vignette at the top. So I've created this little moment here as well as yellow and off-white Roman shades to also relate to the ceiling. I have a leopard rug in here because I just lives for me like leopard goes with everything even though it's sort of a beige on beige world it still wasn't something I was thinking about when I chose the colors in this room because my dressing room connects to the primary bathroom we also painted the ceiling in here it also visually you can see the transom window and and it relates to my fabulous botanicals the hits of yellow it's my favorite room in the house now the ceilings in here, you can see what it relates to. In my old living room is where I had this fabulous piece of floral artwork and I decided to bring it into the primary bedroom and immediately pulled out the lavender and my tray ceiling and the ceiling are two shades of lavender. I went one shade lighter for the ceiling. Don't forget, colors always go a little bit grayer and darker on the ceiling, which is why you wanna lighten them up. But in this case, again, I have really high ceilings and so the color could actually be strong. I didn't wimp out this time like I did in my last living room makeover when I painted the ceiling lavender. I mean, can you even see it? Look closely. The most important tip for choosing a white for your ceilings is to know that the same white will never look the same on the ceilings because all colors get a little bit darker and a little bit grayer once they go from vertical to horizontal and above you. That's the reason why in general if you choose colors for your painted ceilings you don't want them to be too gray because then they're going to feel like a cloudy day. 
So if you have a lot of light, because everyone's painting their house white right now, you could keep going with the same white on the ceilings. But if you're concerned about the white changing color on the ceilings, then I've included a link to my White is Complicated, a decorator's guide to choosing the right white. And on page 64 and 65, it will tell you which whites to choose. So for example, if you have off-white trim, you would go one shade lighter on your ceiling. And I've got that all outlined in my white ebook. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe below and I'll see you next time.